Greetings everyone and welcome back to the Refuge of the Painful Tide, where we are joined by Manu Encrypt, Jitterbug, Aqua, Tommy, Hi Kaiser, Her Terminal Serenity, and Mag Res Polar Bear. We've got room for another student, actually. But in the last episode we had to say goodbye to a few of them. And we said hello, but in a different way, to one of them. Aqua Tommy has joined our ranks as a member of staff, which is actually going to be a fairly big thing for us. Now, in this episode, my goal primarily is to set up potion making uh, so that we can actually start looking to get some higher level ones. Uh, also, probably want to try and bring in some uh, some plants from outside onto the inside. Though, unfortunately, we're not really going to be able to do anything about the bitter rice plots. They are what they are. They have to be outside, and there's not too much that we're going to be able to do with that. But our current research, if I have a quick look-see, what are we actually researching right now, if anything? Oh, we're currently researching nothing. Never mind then. Uh, I believe we just finished domesticating ice flowers. So next up, uh, that's also going to give us the uh, water one tier two. Next up, we're going to go for domesticating the phoenix kiss. Let's start that research. Now then, let's have a quick gander at what we got in here. That'll be the uh, extra gun stuff. We've now got a modest grave. A place to bury character's corpse it will not spawn a spirit. Okay. Uh, a spirit is a temporary apparition that appears for a short while at night, as long as this grave is not covered by the fog. Spirits have different purposes, depending on the grave in which their body was into. So, hmm, that almost sounds like it would actually be to our benefit to have some of our students not make it. Hmm, not sure that one will, uh, will fly. Uh, right, now I'm removing that wall because I think what we're going to do is we're going to build some walls up there and then build floors across to join up over on this side hopefully this can be taken down as a high priority let's see if they can uh, remove that is that going to be a thing that they can do or are they just going to replace that one and all should be well all should be well it seems okay that's fine now then I'm thinking we could make this whole floor into one large greenhouse but I do still want a place to put are uh, the workshop. Now, to get a workshop, again, we've got to have lofted, so it needs to be uh, taller than it is wide, and have one or more research or crafting stations. However, if we look at this, uh, any cooking stations, beds, refining beasts, dining... Oh, can't have refining beasts, can't have dining tables, or teaching... Okay. No, I was going to say, maybe we could put the... the uh, the alchemy station in the greenhouse, but it's going to be quite a wide thing, so I don't think we're going to be going with that. Right, uh, do we yet have any of the supports? Because without them, building out this wall will be a tricky one. Uh, we need floors, actually. Uh, so we'd only be able to bring the floors. I mean, I could bring the floor up that far. But I don't know. There, there's something nice about the idea of having... I wonder if the research is going to stay there. Because we are about to uh, switch things out. I would like this. The arch support. A bracket that extends the support provided from a wall to a floor by two. Now, we could eventually go all the way down to outdoor support columns, but uh, I'd actually prefer to have that and we'd be able to extend this floor out just a, a little bit more. Uh, sure, that would require a little bit more on hardy foliage. And since we need a uh, wormweed anyway, and I, I'm not quite uh, sure why I switched off from that one. That was a bit of a silly one for me. Oh well, let's carry on then. We should have all of this ready in uh, re relatively uh, swift uh, timing. That roof still counts, so there's no reason for us to change anything there. And now, is there any kind of workshop for plants? Let's have a look. Sculptor studio, painting studio, wood cuttery. Plus 50% wands crafting rate and plus 100% tree growth rate. Hmm. Would this be something for us? It could be, you know. Uh, well, what does it need? It needs one or more wand shaper, two more trees. Oh, and grounded. Why? Well, that's a bit of a shame. Uh, okay, uh, it also needs to have one. Three or more large windows or one huge window. It's got to be grounded, though. That's, that's a bit of a potch. Maybe we could set something up. Maybe we could even have a separate building. I do believe when I was looking through the research tree, 
But there is something... Yes, down here. Foundations. That might be something that we can work on. Takes an awful lot of arcane scrolls, though. But I might not be, uh, be against investing in that. But we're not going to be able to w build the woodcut tree for now. So the main thing, then is to well first and foremost i want another student uh if for no other reason then we can cycle them through and and uh, get the adept papers we've got dark we've got air we have managed to finish the uh, hardy so uh, foliage there are some idle students hi kaiser how's your medallions going you're very very shockingly far from that uh given that though hi kaiser could you bump up your charge priority a lot for now and we'll just, uh, oh, wrong ones. We'll just increase the cleaning priority over there for our other students. Uh, well, given that we have the potential for a nature wand, are we really going to be sticking with this? I don't know. Um, we could also go with a water wand. Sure, let's, let's grab a water wand. We might as well uh, select the wand. Uh, oh, we... Oh, sorry, that's the water one, too. <laughs> yeah, we definitely don't have one of those yet. All right, let's begin the ritual and bring in a uh, water one student. It'll be fine. Uh, how close is the fog? The fog is getting a little bit close, but not something I'm too concerned about just yet. Now, we want to get a nice big tall wall over here, as I think this area is probably going to need to be relatively lofty. Uh, something like that, I'm thinking. Oop, that is not what I wanted to do. And something equal on the side. Something around there should work out for us. We can get a, a little arch uh, archway in here so that we can extend this area out. How long will it take us to get through this? We're only 15 of 600 research. It's going to take us a little while, unfortunately. Uh, if we have... Is Aquatami? No, Aquatami isn't any better with uh, lightning magic, sadly. Uh, oh, goodness. Rain right now. We're going to get drops on all of the things down here. And so uh, things are going to actually need to be repaired quite a lot as it happens. Uh, go figure. Of course it would rain when I didn't have a roof. All right, let's pop this. Mahusiv. We want to re... Oh, my good lord. No, let's not have something that gigantic. That that would be bonkers. Can I, can I add... Any more points in the roof? I can't. I wish I could make more connection points. That would be fantastic. But uh, we're going to go with something like this, I think. Confirm that. And as soon as that's ready, we should be able to protect uh, the items in there from any more damage from the rain. But we do have our newest... Ooh, and we've got a Raven Cult student. These are a bit of a different one. Uh, strange bird cultists who believe the world is doomed have permanently lowered conviction but are powerful in battle. So if you have a look at their uh, power, that's plus 20 because they're raven cult. They've got 110 mana, 150 HP and 10 speed just out the gate. However, if we have a look over uh, here, doom and gloom minus 15. That's a bit of a bit of a uh, painful one uh, maybe we could set something up for our students our raven students to give them a little bit more time to chill out that might be a useful one we'll have a look on that one nevertheless though we need to find out who gordon truly is Everyone, please say hello to Dakota C55. We'll just call him Dakota for the rest of the playthrough. Welcome to the student body. Let's uh, have a look at your medallions then. Land a killing blow on three enemies during one skull or higher battles. This will give you an air bonus. Okay, what's your air at right now? Okay, it's only one, but that would move it up to two. You'd have three, uh, three elements that you knew moderately well. Uh, let's have a look at wisdom. Uh which would give dark plus one to dark cast while rested at a learning stone okay this is this is looking very nice that would give you four elements that you knew at level two two at level one and one at level three this is actually kind of amazing and finally destroy three objects warrior's tenacity will give you plus five power and plus 25 max mana okay that's not bad at all dakota you have got a very very uh, powerful looking character there well done indeed uh, we will hopefully be able to maximize your abilities soon. All right, we're going to need to get... Uh, we'll actually go okay for wood, stone. Mana crystals, it would be lovely, but uh, that's going to be a big ask. However, I wouldn't mind 
grabbing the ice flower. Let's go ahead and harvest that. Let's grab the wormweed shaw. And I also want to grab the uh, smoke reed. Let's go ahead and grab that one. How are we doing for meals at the moment? We've got a decent amount of bitter gruel, carcass, stew, gutberry, gutberry soup. We've now got shocking amounts of gutberries. So, I'm actually going to change things up a little bit from our previous consume. And all vivified are going to clear all. Do not eat anything but gutberries. At this point, we can afford to feed you the worst possible food that exists. Uh, I could even give you dire rat and crower carcasses as well. You can pick from whichever you want. If we've just got them hanging around, you're welcome to eat them. On that note, given that our uh, wolfkin uh, do, don't generally get any... Uh, if they're going to eat food that has a negative conviction, they'll just eat a carcass anyway. So, how about we do something similar for them? Let's add a new group, and this will be wolfkin. There we go. And we will add the faction is... Wolfkin, here we are. Perfect. Heather's automatically in there. Doesn't really need to be, though, uh, since they don't eat. Right, we'll add this one. We'll pop Wolfkin in here. I'm going to clear all, and I'm simply going to say you are allowed to eat the carcasses. So, uh, Crower and Diorat. Go ahead and grab a Crower or Diorat carcass if you particularly want to. Uh, though on that note, I am going to have to make sure that we have plenty of those carcasses just lying around. The crowers are a bit less of one, but uh, every day I can just give a bunch of, uh, of uh, hunting commands, and that should be everything we need to take care of. Right, how are we doing over there? Only 142. We really need to get a better research rate. Let me have a quick look whilst I get distracted on how we would go about doing that. So, a major study would require exactly one door, private and skewed. Have one or more arcing secretary, and must have one, two bookshelves, or one large bookshelf. Hmm. Okay, it needs to be private and skewed. That wouldn't be too bad. A major's tower, private and towered. One or more arcing secretary, one or more scrivener's desk. I could drive this all the way up top and actually have a little uh, research room right at the very top of the Mage's Hermitage. Isolated. Okay, yeah, we're not even going to bother trying with that one. Uh, this would have to have three or more bookshelves. Um, oh, must have one or more Arcane Secretary and Scrivener's Desk. Whereas this one must have one of the Arcane Secretary or the Scrivener's Desk. Uh, ha ha must have exactly one door. So it, it has to have a door actually built into it. Okay, this is a this is a bit of an interesting one. All right, I think we can make this happen. Though, I, again, I would like to, to wait on getting that research. I know it's such a finicky thing to want, but uh, here we are with me wanting it. Right, let's get some windows in. Let's pop uh, windows around here. Let's see how much we can get. Oh, if we can get all of those together, maybe even one just elevate it. Oh, this is going to be such a beautiful little garden. It's going to be fantastic. What do I need? Ice petals. Let's see if we can't get some ice petals out here somewhere. Are there any plants, ice flowers? There are... Well, we might actually be able to get them. We'll see. How many do we need over here? We, we don't need any here, so I could push the uh, fog back a little bit more if we really wanted to. Do I want to get more students? I'm not sure that we do just yet. I'm, I'm kind of happy with what we're managing, though, oh my lord. They have leveled up massively. Okay, uh, you will eventually get that. That's fine. Uh, you'll eventually dance in a room with, a, uh, with at least six, uh, six students or staff. That's fine. Magrez Polar Bear. Go two days in a row with seven, uh, above 70 conviction. That's awesome that you're getting that. Eating a mess all, that's also fine. You can get all of those after the fact. And now you badly need this one. You're already starting to get some levels. You need to cast while rested at a learning stone 25 times in basic or e intermediate classrooms. What is your current status then? You are... Alert, not rested. Hmm. Okay, we are going to switch this up a little bit. Uh, right, I'm going to make a specific... 
schedule for just Dakota. Uh, however, I'm going to use a group for this one. We're going to add Dakota in. Um, rested. While casting. Oh, actually, we'll call this cast while rested. The first thing will be uh, we will have uh, membership, and it's going to be Dakota because they're the only person that we need right now. There we are. And add a rule. If they are status and does not have rested, this is going to be an interesting sort of automation. I kind of like it. Uh, can we find rested? Uh, let's see. Okay, there we go. Cast while rested. Uh, we can just put... Uh, well, I guess we'll keep this for now. If you do not have rested, then it adds you into the cast while rested group. And we're now going to create a new custom one set up with cast while rested. And it is literally going to be whenever you are not eating sleep until you've got got rested uh we'll do something like uh, we'll kind of mirror the other uh students uh, at least to some degree uh for now we may as well have this in there since i do want them to get some time to eat as well but this is going to be this is hopefully going to enforce that they just go and rest there we go. Class ends. Go and sleep, please, and indeed, thank you. Uh, hopefully, that is exactly where you've gone off to. I don't know if that's where you've gone. Uh, schedule. Oh, you're scheduled for eating. That's fair enough, then. Uh, now is one of the very rare times when you don't need to, to rest first. But we do have a large rectangular window. I don't think we're going to be setting that up anytime soon, though. Right, okay. Uh, loads of people just uh, chilling out, dancing the, the day away at the moment, going through uh, midday. Uh, now, I want to make sure that Dakota, once Dakota is, like, I guess, when they're, they're up and about just doing odds and sods, uh, if they've already eaten, then they'll just uh, wander around. They're not really going to do lessons at the very least, I, I should hope. But uh, once that's done, they're going to have a little bit of uh, socializing time, and then they're going to duck down for a while as well. And that should work out quite nicely. Now, if we have a look through here, if I move this around so they slept in the middle of the day I could absolutely have more students as long as not everyone was uh, completely uh, skilled up that would be an interesting one I'm going to need so many more windows, oh my good lord we're only at 39% lit at the moment, that is not great because we definitely need a lot of sunlight to make this work, there we go, we've got the uh, foundations, perfect right, let's uh, pop the foundation down around here right about there I think would be good there you go, we'll wait for that to be built, now can I get another one of these in, no, I need more ice petals but I suppose I could for the time being make this work uh, let's go ahead and grab a brazier. We'll uh, pop that brazier. Uh, I don't know. We could even uh, pop it over here if we really wanted to. Uh, sure, we'll just pop that there, and it might actually push this far enough. Now, garden-wise, we need these ice flowers. So I'm thinking we could have a fairly extensive uh, planting area over here. Then some gut berries. We could have some trees. Maybe I should put the trees at the back, though. Thinking about it, that would be a very, very wise move, because that way it's not going to block everything. Uh, it doesn't matter too much if it blocks the windows, since we know they're there. Don't really need to see it all the time. But there we go. That should work. Oh, that used up a lot of my wood, it seems. Let's uh, pop those down. We can just have the uh, the ice flowers moving along there. We will have some uh, phoenix kisses, so on and so so forth. We'll see how all of that goes. Right then, uh, everything is going okay down here. We've got plenty of gut berries. That should all do us nicely. And once this is done, we're going to build out a little way further. We should hopefully be able to get a uh, proper mage's room for uh, performing research. And I could make it a towered room just by adding a staircase, thinking about it. Hmm... 
But we would need the Scrivener table unlocked before I could do that. So maybe we'll hold off, though, I, I guess, if I wanted to make it ahead of time uh, so that we knew it was absolutely going to uh, be ready as soon as I had the Scrivener table unlocked. Might not be a bad move. Where would we get the Scrivener table from, though? Let's remind ourselves. Down here. Scrivenry for fun and for profit. I'm going to need crazy amounts of arcane scrolls. Sadly, so uh, that's not a thing that we're going to be doing any time. It's almost really 49%. You mock me, game. Fine. I don't have the wood to build that now, so it's going to have to be one of these. I guess I could pop this uh, over there and move this one across just to make them match up. I will be removing these eventually because we just won't need them once we've got plenty of windows in there, but uh, for now, it will work. Right, let's see where people are at. Dakota is still technically over here. Are you really? Are you not rested? Uh, sleep if, if scheduled. Alert plus zero. No, we need you to have rested, frankly. Uh, are you able to sleep? Yes. Yes, you are. There you are. Just curled up, sleeping the night away. You enjoy yourself there. Right, getting some of the planters up here, which means we no longer need these planters outside, so I'm going to just go ahead and disintegrate those, get those materials back for us. No reason not to. Again, we're going to have to leave the bit of rice outside. There's not much we can do about that. Ooh, there, Bliss Seeker. Fantastic Magras Polar Bear. Let's have a look at you then. So that's Bliss Seeker up. we got only five more eats in a mess hall. Then I need you to charge... A mana lantern. How is that mana lantern doing? Uh, I could honestly uh, do with a bit of a charge. I'll have to start uh, managing that and just forcing them to take care of that here and there. We'll see how it goes, though. Now, how many carcasses do we have? Corpses. Uh, we've got... Oh, uh, no, that doesn't count. Uh, carcass stew. Do we actually have any carcasses outside, though? Hmm, perhaps not. That's uh, not great, I must confess. I would like to make sure that we keep uh, plenty of carcasses around for our peeps to eat. Right, well, we can get back to research then. We've got a lot of things that we need to, to get over to, but uh, nothing we need to prioritize just yet. Uh, let's instead get back over here then and continue our research on the Phoenix Kiss. I think that should be fine. There we are. How are all of our storages? Uh, they're looking not too full, which is actually quite awesome. Then I'm not going to have to worry about adding more of them in then. That should be quite nice. All right. Well, while that's going on, we can build up the floor a little bit more now. So I need to decide how far out we're bringing this. I don't necessarily want to take it all the way. Uh, we'll have to see. Uh, let me have a look. What we wanted in here was a crafting bench, which would be the alchemist station. That's only too wide, so a four-wide room should be good in here. But the research room, that is a three-wide construct. And we'd also want a scrivener table eventually, so maybe if we went five-wide. I don't know how big a scrivener table is, but let's, let's hope that it's not much more than five wide. So there we are. There's the door. One, two, three, four, five, and another wall. Wow, we actually did need all of that room. Hmm. Uh, I'm not entirely certain I like it. We might want some sort of uh, support pillar over here to make it look like it makes a bit more sense. Still, I'm willing to roll with it for now. So one, two, three, four, and then bring up the wall. We want to make sure that's lofted. So something about there. Then we can add in our roof about here, like so. There we go. That'll do wonderfully. There we go. And we also want to make sure that we've got... Uh, actually, we need a door for now, I suppose. Unless, as I mentioned, we want to make it a tower, in which case we can have a stairwell going up to uh, achieve that effect. Um, we'll hold off on that until we actually need to do it. I think. Oh, High Kaiser got Dancing Queen. Very nice, High Kaiser. Very nice indeed. You're actually getting there with recharging the lantern as well. Uh, in fact, High Kaiser, could you go and recharge this lantern one last time? And that will give you everything you needed. And at that point, we could uh, have you graduate with honors. Let's have a quick. Oh, actually, no, no, no. We need the Burrow of Lava, and I don't think we're going to be getting that one, sadly. 
So we might be saying goodbye to you. Uh, what is your what is your status and conviction right now? You you should actually be fine because you've just learned something new. But uh, we might want to clear things out a little bit. Dakota, how are you doing? You are well rested. There we go. If we have a look now in the schedule, Dakota shouldn't be in cast while rested. Uh, that works perfectly well. Okay. Uh, in that case, I might change the group, in fact, to rested. Let's uh, pop that one in there. Uh, now, is there a way that I can make this more automatic? Can I check if they have a status that requires them, like the, the medal? Can I, can I trigger it on that? Let's have a look. Trials medallions. I need rested learning bronze trial. Uh, let's have a quick gander. No, it doesn't look like that exists. So I'm just going to take that one away. We'll just have to pop people into that group as and when they need it. And then they'll just spend all of their time resting uh, when they uh, when they can, which should work well for us. Now, at this point, I should be able to send out our team for another bit of a fight. And I think now is a good time to do that. Hi, Kaiser and Magres Polar Bear would both be solid with this. Terminal Serenity, we're not sending you out because I don't think you have the power to make use of the air wand so much. That being said, maybe. Magres Polar Bear, let's send you. And hi, Kaiser. I mean, you've got very little actual combat strength. You're fast, but that's about the only thing going for you. Uh, all right, well, we'll send you out and see what we can do. All right, let's make this happen then and see what there is to see out there. Hopefully the uh, the students who are capped will spend most of their time just uh, gathering, charging lanterns, so on and so forth. will be uh, quite useful. Right, let's see how this goes. Right, we want to remove the lantern keeper as quickly as we can. Uh, Tax is strong as that. That being said, as long as we can get your turn first, but I can't slow you down, sadly, so that's going to be a bit of an issue. Uh, okay, well, I could give growth. At least that's going to cause some pain for you, 15 uh, total damage. Or I could put uh, strength... You know what? Let's go for strength. Sure, there you go. And that will counteract the lost strength that you just had there. Now, let's have a look. Tentacle Lash 2 will do 22 damage. Uh, attacks and it deals plus 40 damage when attacking from Shadow Cloak. Add Shadow Cloak to an allied position for two rounds. Grants dodge 25% to mages in this combat slot. Well, uh, we're going strict for Shadow Cloak. There's no reason not to. And let's get Vengeance over here as well. Unfortunately, our oh, Vivified was the last person to act in that entire uh, engagement, which was pretty brutal, all things considered. Right, let's get some extra strength down here because you are going to be able to wallop for ridiculous amounts of damage in just a second. There we go. Tentacle Lash for 72 damage. My god, that was amazing. And our fireball now does a guaranteed 30, so that takes that one down. Okay, not bad at all, I must say. Uh, Encrypt taking even more damage there. But now there's only one enemy. The Earth Armor should be able to keep us on the go. Uh, we're going to drop Growth over here. There we are. So you'll have Thorns, which will just tick down here and there. Do you still have... Uh, no, you do not have uh, the Cloak. So we'll pop Shadow Cloak back on. There we go, and we'll go, and we've already lost, unfortunately, the, uh, oh, wow, nice, nice crit there. We have lost the, uh, the extra strength there. Let's top up our armor again, so we won't need to top it up any further from this point forward. Let's get certain strength on the front row. I thought it might have been better to go there for the, uh, big old 70, but never mind, doesn't matter. Tentacle Lash wins the day. Okay, got two Arcane Scrolls and two Spore Caps as well. Oh, wait, who needed that? Uh, I think Dakota needed to get the uh, the killing blows. Well, Dakota wasn't with us, so that's fine then. It's not uh, not something we're going to need to worry about over much. Right. I think Magres Polar Bear needs to charge the lantern several times. So now that uh, High Kaiser's got everything, we can bump Magres Polar Bear all the way up. And we are also going to need Dakota to destroy things. So now they've got some fire. Uh, magic learnt, they can now do that, so let's set that one ready as well. Okay, not going too terribly badly up here. Let's get a, another uh, couple of 
ice flower planters down. I want quite a lot of these. There we are. And let's see. Do I have enough to pop in the other window? Yes, we do. Let's pop a nice big... Do you want it slightly offset? Oh, we could do. Hmm... I could even have two windows up there, but let's go quite high, and then we could actually bring this down in several of them. Uh, we want to get the the sunlight in here as much as we can, because currently we've only got 39% of the required sunlight. Because this is such a massive room, we need to fill it with enormous amounts of windows to get what we need, which is a bit of a shame, but... Oh, this is too high. Okay, well, uh, let's build a copy further down then. We'll pop one there, and then we'll get rid of this one, and then we'll see if I can build another copy there, and we'll hope that uh, this will be able to help us out a little bit. This will bring us up to about 60%. There are better windows, there are different size windows, and we'll be going for those in time. The main thing is that this is a bright enough room not to spawn anything bad in there, though this one, not quite so. Right, let's get a crafting station. We want the alchemist station just popped in here. Then we want some lighting as well. I could go ahead and pop down a brazier. Uh, a single brazier would probably be enough in this room, but let's go with something else. You know what? I feel the alchemical lab needs some uh, eerie green lighting in there. There we are. That will look wonderful. And next up, it's time for us to add in the uh, research area. We don't have any research currently selected, which now means we can build Phoenix Kisses. And next up, we want the Smoke Reed Planter. So let's start that one on the go as well. All right, so we want... Uh, actually, whilst we're thinking about that, let's pop down the Phoenix Kisses now. Uh, let's have something like... Hmm, I could comfortably add these in this position. That should be fine. And now we... Ooh, how are we doing? Ooh, we actually got the fog right on top of us. So let's let's get rid of that. We just need some gut berries and wood. It seems that the closer you allow the fog to get, the more... Uh, the, the cheaper it is to push it back, which is actually quite nice, I must confess. Now, uh, before I uh, do the ritual, actually, oh, our staff are just chilling out, so uh, we'll give them a few moments before they uh, are done with that. Let's actually see. There we go. Now they can all run down here and take care of their superior repel uh, fog. Please and indeed thank you. Uh, it doesn't really matter who we use here. Go ahead and push that back for me. There we are. Right, that should be all well and good. And uh, let's actually just check through people's conviction. Not too bad there. No, not bad with Encrypt either. How are things going? Feeling slightly unsafe. That's fine. We'll, we'll be all right with that. Uh, feeling they are all eating outside of a dining area. Why is this? Uh, they are all allowed in here, so I'm not quite sure why they didn't eat. The oh, really? You scoundrel. When I'm doing a ritual... That's a scallywag. Right, okay. Oh, a battle awaits. What's going on here? 11.9 hours. A battle awaits at a malice crystal. A two-skull battle. Ooh. Okay, well, that's uh, definitely something to uh, look forward to. Um, don't bother filling mana and just get in and attack this time. Everyone wake up. Head straight there. There we go. We shouldn't need much mana to take you down. Uh, though mana was actually fairly low on mana thinking about it. If I had, if I knew that I had someone here with uh, uh, a lightning wand, probably would have been a stronger push for that one, but uh, oh well. There we go. And now we are going to Shadow Cloak. And Vengeance, so that this uh, will deal a decent chunk of damage back. Oh, nice dodge there. Uh, we now want Earth... Well, do we want Earth... Yeah, let's get the Earth armor up and running. Now, I want Growth, as this is the only thing I can cast. I'll get a little bit of damage in there. And then Tentacle Lash will do a wallop load of damage. Though we are absolutely draining their current uh, reserves of mana, it seems. Uh, let's get that smash in there and finish this job go and that is what can happen and we we definitely did not have enough mana to uh, comfortably uh win that battle but we did win so uh, that's all that counts uh, really but these are very interesting do we want to take on a level two battle mm, kind of do and kind of don't 
Uh, this is... Uh, it says under school exploration difficulty. I'm, I'm not sure what I meant to read from that. Uh, but we should have a bunch of other things out here for us to investigate. Let's uh, draw out everything along here. And we are going to want to select... Uh, Malice Crystal. Okay, there's two Misty Crystals. Let's go for those. The Malice Crystals I might go for. Uh, we could definitely have a look into those. Um, certainly wouldn't be against it. Alright. Uh, those haven't yet been built. Can we get a further medical bed? No, we need ice paddles for that. Well, at least we're going to be making our own from now on. Uh, right. Does anyone need a rest? No, I don't think so. All right, well, let's go ahead and try and take on this battle, then. Do I want this particular group for it, though? Um, Normal Serenity now has A3. It isn't the strongest, certainly. That this is not the best group for doing damage. Uh, I could bring along Dakota, but you don't even have Torrent learned yet, sadly. Uh, let's bring Terminal Serenity instead of the growth, uh, instead of the, the nature wand. We'll see how that plays out. But yeah, our, uh, our Raven is having to spend a decent amount of time sleeping in order to build up their... Uh, their rest bonus. Let's make sure they've got all that. And they don't really need to, to have that in the middle of the day. There we go. Alright, let's see how this goes down. We have got Hallowed Ones, which have attack all enemies, 20 damage. That's horribly bad. Uh, okay, let's go for a Shadow Cloak straight away. Now, Vengeance. So we're going to want Vengeance on both sides, because that could be a lot of damage at that point, because you're going to get hit twice for 15, and so are you, but oh my good lord, the amount of damage we took. Uh, let's get some Earth Armor. We need to take them down shockingly fast. Um, let's go for the Multi-Strike. There we are. Nice work. Now, Tentacle Lash. Desperately need to reduce the amount of incoming damage, and this will reduce it a lot. There we are, nice crit. Okay, another good wallop there. Manu is really low on health now. Let's get another big bump of earth armor. Try and reduce the amount of incoming damage that is likely to gonna go Manu's way. I could drop Shield of Wind on Manu, actually. Uh, that is probably a wise move. Let's go ahead and pop that down. Now I'm gonna want to Another Tentacle Lash, but we're going to want to have Shadow Cloak first and foremost. I could put uh, Vengeance back there. There we go. You were shielded, and they took a wallop load of damage. Absolutely fantastic. Now, I can't do proper smash, sadly. Uh, let's continue building up my, my Earth Armor. I don't see any reason not to there. there we are. But Bagros Polar Bear is actually starting to get a bit low now, which is worrisome. There we go. And remove them from the running. And now you should be a relatively easy target to finish off. But that was a much harder battle than we faced before. The rewards better be worth it. Uh, six Viscera, 20 Smoke Pill. That's actually quite a lot. Seven Arcane Scrolls. Okay, not bad. Not bad at all. And a Mana Crystal to boot. I greatly approve of that, actually. Uh, I would love to build a Mana Crystal up here. And the reason for that is that we would then be able to recharge people's energy whilst they were doing plant work. And I think that's going to be huge. All right, let's uh, remove the uh, brazier here. So go ahead and disintegrate that straight away. Because they use nature magic in order to buff things in here. Uh, quite a lot of uh, items outside have now been destroyed, sadly. But it's just the way it is. Uh, the drips don't matter here. They just kind of collect in this well and eventually gush down and land on someone's head who's outside. Uh, nice. You've completed rested learning. Fantastic. Okay. 
There we go. So that has given you a plus one to dark skill cap. We still want to destroy a couple of objects, and I want to give you uh, three kills, but we can do that as one of the last things that we do. All we now need to do, though, is remove Dakota from this. So we'll just uh, cancel the membership one. In fact, uh, maybe I should actually have membership. Is a member? None. There we go. That, that should uh, keep anyone out of the rested group, but that will be a useful one in the future if we want to make sure that people uh, get certain things done in the right order. Uh, there we are. We'll pop in the lantern. Do I want to put the lantern over in the far... Uh, no, popping it here should be fine. Right, let's have a look at you. Or staff. No recipe selected. Let's have a gander then. So we've got potions of rejuvenations. This is just a healing pot. Uh, ice petal and ectoplasm. Okay, that's a reasonable one. Do until we have at least, I've got to say, 10. Uh, we've got the potion of recharging. We need these to make the higher tier ones. Do until we have... Uh, 10. I'm going to assume that this gives mana. Yes, it gives quite a lot of mana, actually. Uh, bravery potion. A drinkable potion removes all stacks of fearful. Mm, I'm not sure we really need this. But uh, I don't see a reason not to have it, I guess. At least 10. And then revival flask. A throwable flask restores 15 HP to an ally who's been knocked unconscious. Ah, but do they still lose their death save? Either way, let's get 10 of those as well but the main thing with this is the fact that we are now going to have access to the uh recharging uh potions which is going to allow us to build much much better ones i'm really really quite excited about that one right battle weights 55 minutes <laughs> there's no way <laughs> there is absolutely zero chance of that happening i am sorry to say right what did we want for the mages well, we can't do the Mage's Tower. Well, maybe we could. Um, actually. Hmm. How yeah. wide is this? <sighs> Ooh. Would we possibly do this? If we built this there, technically there wouldn't be another room between the two, assuming we never built anything there. So we did something like this. Ah, but would this be way too small? I mean, I might be able to still fit the uh, required devices in there. Hmm. Well, we can definitely, for science, it. Because, let's let's be honest, 200% research rate? Oh, no, again, we couldn't get that because I need the Scrivener's table. Never mind, I am, I am being a fool. I keep forgetting that. I keep getting excited with the idea that I've found a... Uh, a, a uh, Cunning way to overcome some sort of problem. Uh, running before I can walk. Uh, private and skewed is all we need with this one. That's fine. We can easily achieve that. So I'm going to pull this down a little bit. Um, that should be three. One, two, three. Yep, that should give me everything I need. Let's hope this works. If it does, then perfect. That doesn't quite give me everything I want. That might be a bit better. Let's have a nice, big, tall room like this. Uh, there we are. This might then count. Let's see if that works. Oh, you know what? No, no, no. It doesn't It doesn't work well enough. Well, I think it's going to have to work well enough. I could always increase the size of this and just have both of these rooms skewed, but that feels a little bit, uh, well, wonky, I guess. <laughs> Which is kind of what I need, but we'll see. Uh, I'm going to need to replace that with a door, though. And there's still loads of things to be built over here uh, that I would very much like it if they could get to sooner rather than later. Uh, we still need a couple of ice petals as well, but we might be able to get those uh, uh, relatively soon just from our garden or from outside if we just go for the ice flowers. There we go. Just go ahead and grab all those. I want this built super, super high priority. I do not want... Mana crystals just left outside. Those are hard to get. Mind you, I don't want arcane scrolls left outside either. My lord. Uh, how many of our students are going to be in this particular job right now? Uh, look, I'm going to have to say I need a little bit more focus on uh, getting work done over there. Though, that being said, let me uh, go ahead and change this up a little bit, because I think we are going to switch it up so that they can sleep at different times.
Right, there we go. Now our fully trained students will just be able to sleep through the uh, the middle of the day. That should be good enough for them. And uh, in the meanwhile, let's go ahead and get a new student down. Oh, we could actually summon a gifted student now if we particularly wanted to. I don't think I do, but uh, it is a possibility at the very least. Uh, let's go ahead and just grab uh, any old wand. It doesn't really matter too much to me, I suppose, but uh, let's grab an earth wand and start that up we'll see what we can do i quite like having the vivified earth user but uh it, i would love a little bit more more power for them right we've got this building over here so let's see about moving up the research bench let's uh, just slide that on in there at the back and what else did we need i think it was two bookshelves a major study one or more arcane secretary or two or more bookshelves or one large bookshelf Righty-o, let's... Oh, is this, uh, in fact, the right type of room? Elevated, lofted, skewed, private. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Right, we are going to want a, a window, if we can have one. Right up there, nice and high. And then we are going to want to pop in some bookshelves as well, of course. We can have uh, both on this side, I guess. But uh, I kind of like the idea of having them a little bit skewed something like that uh maybe do we have any shrinkables no we don't that's a bit of a shame it would have been nice to have like a little uh a little rug or something on the ground let's get in the fourth bed there so that more people can take medical rest when they need to right okay i'm very very hopeful that this is going to work out well for us the fact that we've got a decent uh decent uh, classroom over here is is a big plus and we've got a new wolfkin called henrik but that is not their real name Everyone, please welcome Caligal to the school. Thank you very much for your patron support, and long may you enjoy your academic pursuits in this hallowed house of learning. Right, let's have a quick look at your magic. Uh, not terribly bad. You do have high power, but you don't have a lot of HP, which uh, is uh, kind of here and there for me, really. I would like my uh, Earth users to have H high HP, but who knows? We might see some good Trials and Medallions. Uh, you just need to get a Killing Blow. You cast a, at a Learning Stone 25 times in a basic intermediate classroom with no other student present. Solo Learner. Ah. Five Speed and Five Power. Hmm, that's going to be a bit of a tricky one. Uh, Bliss Seeker, Bronze Trial. Go two days in a row. At or above 70 conviction, that shouldn't be too bad. I'll give a bit more HP, some more speed, some more power. Cannot become wet. Honestly, these aren't great, but I can certainly try to make this work for you. I think I'm going to need a new learning schedule, though. Hmm. Uh, well, since this is really going to be a one-time only kind of affair, what I can do is I can... We're going to be slowing down the learning of our other students, which does kind of suck, but uh, we're going to be adding in Caligal over here, and they're going to have the default student uh, role here. Uh, we will add this in. It's basically going to be a complete copy of what is currently set up. I will allow you to have a little bit of time in the middle of the day, but then you get the, uh, the class at the end of the day. There we go. So we're just kind of rotating that around might not be a bad idea to have this actually so uh, some students learn in the in the morning some students learn in the evening that actually might work out well for our students simply because it would allow them a bit more uh, opportunity to switch around so if we could have two groups of learning students how much is it costing me to get a student at this point um not that much honestly we could actually get a lot of students here if we really wanted to uh, okay, well, that's not a bad one at all. We still need people to take medical rest, and I'm getting a little bit concerned that they're not prioritizing that. So I'm going to bump that up to a little bit of a higher priority on everyone. If you are hurt, go and rest. I don't want you to uh, to croak, thank you. So uh, please do be certain to uh, make sure that you are restoring your health there we go loads of things being built up there very very nice indeed We've got the mana flask in here as well let's have a look at what the lighting is in here right now we've got 70 percent lit uh most uh, some from fire quite a lot of it from moonlight coming in through the windows there very nice indeed uh let's have a gander we've got our garden there we go let's pop these down something 
along those lines. Uh, that should be good for me, I think. Uh, maybe I should take these back a little bit, but I think this is fine. In fact, you know, I'm almost tempted to put a little bit more down there. Uh, oh, we are going to need the wormweed planters as well. Hmm, maybe I've gone a little bit overboard with all of this. Uh, in fact, I'm fairly certain I have. So what I'm going to do is, can I cancel that? Yeah, we are cancel. Let's remove these. I'm going to get all of this shifted around, and I'll bring you back when I'm done with uh, remodeling the greenhouse. And here we go. Major study is complete. Now we just need to get a little bit of light in there. Uh, the work on the redecoration of the uh, the garden... I mean, it's coming along. It's still got a little bit of room to go, but uh, it's getting there. Little by little. There we are. Perfect. Now, is this well lit? It is not. Oh, it's just shy. Oh, well, that's kind of a pain, but okay. Uh, let's go ahead, and I could put even a, a solemn brazier. Uh, do we want to... Not particularly. I think we'll have a, a little little blue-tinted uh, brazier just but there. That should work quite well. Right, let's have a look at what we want to research. Now, I could research some additional potions. Uh, the other thing I could do is research the ability to make a proper infirmary. That might be useful. However, I'm thinking the next thing we want realistically is to come down here through uh, fully stocked to get the pantry, which is going to give us a much better storage space for our food. Oh my lord, it's going to be so much better. Uh, it will also open up the possibility of getting a proper kitchen, but it's not quite where we're going. Ooh, this round window's got more sunlight than the uh, larger window, doesn't it? Let me have a quick look at that one. Oh, sorry, the small rectangular. It does have more. Not uh, more than the large rectangular, but uh, is this made of things that I can eat? I've got? Yes. Wooden void caps. Oh, okay, we'll definitely go down there, as that may allow us to get our greenhouse all the way up to uh, to maximum, which is something I would very, very much like to do. Uh, do we have enough uh, wormweed planters? We do. Can I plant two of them? We can. Ah, fantastic. Now, that does leave uh, quite a lot of room in here for other things that I probably do want to get to. Uh, we've actually managed to... Oh, there we go. Caligal has uh, finished the solo learner. Perfect. Very, very happy with this. Let's have a look. What else are we working on? Uh, nothing else... Well, go two days in a row above Sound of Conviction. We can do that once, uh, whether you're learning or not. I think, actually, you no longer need a separate uh, a separate schedule. That works perfectly. We can pop everyone now back on learning all the way through the day. Well, we'll keep it at that for now. Uh, how much sunlight are we getting in here, out of curiosity? If we have a look, sunlight, 59%, it's not great. This is if they were down here, but we can get up to that, especially if we get the new windows. But I think, uh, can, well, there's one more person needs medical rest. Who needs medical rest? Manu. Manu's almost fully healed. I would love it if you were fully healed. Sadly, not quite. Uh, okay, well, at this stage, we can move this down to the far side. So let's go ahead and take care of that. Something, I want it a little bit further down. Something, something around there I think will look quite nice. All right, getting somewhere now. How are we doing for materials? We're probably quite low. We are shockingly low on stone, actually. Uh, all right, well, in that case, let's go for the small outcrops because they're much easier for us to gather. Uh, so stone outcrops, we've got eight of those. Let's go ahead and grab them. Magres Polar Bear has just completed Charger Bronze char Trial. Okay, Magres Polar Bear is now uh, capable of, of uh, graduating as an honor student. I am very tempted to graduate them as an honor student, but for now, they can they can hang tight until we start to have some problems with with that. Uh, Dakota, well, now, now that we have everything we need over there, I think it is time for us to start in, uh, migrating away from the basic ones. Uh, now, there is one thing to be said about this. It isn't necessarily that it's always just better. I, I would say it probably is, but there is a but. The stronger the magical pa uh, powers of your student, or indeed teacher, the greater the destabilizing effect it will have on their brain. So we might want to avoid giving them the, uh, the, the strongest ones all the time, 
but I think at least Wand 2. We might want to make that kind of decision for Wand 3. So I'm going to swap over all of the ones that we can currently make to the, the level 2 variants. And uh, I think there's only one that we won't be able to do, and that will be uh, that will be uh, dark, I believe. Uh, however, we're not going to go out of our way to upgrade everyone just yet. Eventually, we probably will want at least uh, all of our uh, teachers to be on the higher tier ones. Uh, do we have lightning? Yes, of course we do. I think that was actually one of the first ones we got. Do we have high tier nature? We do not. Uh, but we do have air ones, okay, so that, uh, that will do for now. And I might actually hold off on getting a new student instead, try and get a uh, tier 2 wand, and we'll see what we can do with that. Currently, uh, you want a fire wand, and what is involved in that one? We are shy of the potions of recharging. Okay, well, then we just need to get those uh, ingredients. You're waiting on some ice petals to be able to build that out. That shouldn't take us too long at all. Uh, I wouldn't mind bringing in those uh, smoke uh, smoke reeds as well. Let's set those up. How are we looking for our chests? We've still got loads of room in them, so that shouldn't be too much of an issue. You know what, then? Now that everyone is uh, fully healed up, let's actually wrap things up with one last battle before I uh, end the episode. And it will be the last episode that I get to record for about a week. By the time that you're watching this episode, I will be, uh, well, getting ready to return home. I will be back before the next episode will be due out. So hopefully there won't be a break in the uh, schedule, but we'll see how that goes. Uh, if, uh, we no, you know what, Dakota, let's bring you out. You've now got water too. That should be good enough. Caligal, I wouldn't mind you having that. Uh, since you both kind of need to go for killing blows. But I'm just going to bring uh, Dakota out for now. Uh, do we want to bring... I think we're going to bring Jitterbug with the lightning wand. Or maybe Aquatami, actually. With, yeah, Aquatami with the lightning wand. There we go. Let's see how this goes then. Hopefully there's going to be a nice easy fight, but who knows? I could have taken some potions, I suppose, but uh, I don't think there, there were really any that I, I particularly wanted to bring along with me. Uh, do we actually have any potions stored? No, uh, we don't. We haven't actually made a single potion yet. That's kind of frustrating, but oh well. Uh, right, let's see how this goes then. Uh, oh, this is not... Well, actually, this could be bad, but there's a lot of potential damage output over here. Uh, let's go ahead and get Vengeance going first and foremost, because they're going to be attacking at the front, sadly. Uh, and then we could go for a Torrent on this Drowned One. We'll just try and do a bunch of damage as, quick, uh, damage as quickly as we can. Oh, that's going to hurt if you're always going for them. Okay, I'm, I'm not 100% okay with the fact that you spread your damage, because I kind of think that might have been better uh, if Mano didn't take a hit, but... At least we've now got Earth Armor, so this should be okay. And we've got the ability to recharge a wand as well, which is going to be a big one. Right, we want to try and just whittle you down and then have uh, have uh, Dakota take out the, uh, the... get the finishing blow. Now, this one can't possibly crit enough damage to take you down. There we go. Oh, I'm going to have to be aware of the reflection there. That will be a bit of an issue, right? You can no longer go for them. I want you to start working on this back uh, drowned one. And let's get another earth armor there. And finally, let's use torrent to finish them off. There you go. Womp. Perfect. I find it rather ironic that we killed a drowned one with a torrent of water. That, I mean... <laughs> Appropriate, I guess. Uh, you died as you lived. As you died. Uh, there we go. That armor is just doing so amazingly well. How are we doing for mana across the board? Manu can have a, a, a recharge next turn, I think. A crit there would have been a problem, but nothing too much for us to worry about here. There we go. And Dakota with another torrent will finish this one. We might actually end up clearing the three kills, uh, killing blows that you needed in this one fight alone, which is going to be quite amazing, actually. There we are. Pop. Now, it, the only thing that would kind of suck is if uh, it did enough damage to itself with a with a rebound attack that it, it died from that. Uh, Dakota... 
Yeah, you can't afford to now. Because it is going to attack first, so I'm going to have, actually have to have you pass. Now, passing will regenerate a little bit of uh, of mana. Just let it attack. Takes a takes a blow. And then we're going to recharge Dakota so they act first next turn. You can get a little bit more earth armor. There you go. All three, uh, all three teachers making sure that Dakota gets an opportunity to properly experience combat here. And perf oh, we got a cursed student. What? We also got some eyeballs uh, from the cursed student. I, I, what on earth is going on here? Iliana is curse bound. Vivified student. We've got an extra student for free. But what? I I don't even. Huh? Uh, are they? Uh, okay. Oh, but, uh, so curse bound. Bound by a curse. Is there any greater horror? I I guess. I I mean. Oh, oh, they are a uh, air wand level two. Well then, let's find out who you are, Eliana. Everyone say hello to Papster. Welcome to the team, though you are currently kind of abound here, but eventually you're going to get haste, which is going to be an amazing spell for you. You've got level three in earth, level two in lightning, and level four in air. What else, other uh, options have you got? You'll have charger, which will give you plus one to fire, so you'll have level two in fire. You've got, you're gonna get boosted power. Your power isn't uh, much to speak of right now. It's only five, so I'll bring up to 15. Uh, you will have loves dining in a mess hall, gains conviction when eating in a dining room or mess hall. Uh, also, go four days without ever getting hungry. will give you permanently increases his character's conviction by five. That's kind of amazing. Serene Disposition. And these are, I think, Silver Trials. So this is because of the higher tier wand. And also Solo Diner. An extra 100 HP on a Vivified. Well, well, well. Uh, how exactly do we uh, do, do we get you out of this? Um, I have no idea. Uh, d do you just get let go? Or... Uh, I think we're going to have to find out about this in the next episode. What a what a weird place to end it on. But that is, uh, what a fantastic game as well. But that is going to be it for us uh, for today. I really do hope you have enjoyed this episode and are enjoying the series. And if you are, do please let's see an algorithm slow with those lovely buttons. And if you are, do please let St. Algorithmus know with those lovely buttons down below. But that is going to be it for us. So until next time, and as always, from myself, Heather, Manu, Encrypt, Jitterbug, Aquatami, Hike, Kaiser, Terminal, Serenity, Magrez, Polar Bear, Dakota, Caligal, and Pepster. Do take care.